Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering introduction to Python programming. Guys, I have uploaded complete Python programming subject tutorials. I will provide link in description. You can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. Python is an interpreted high level general purpose programming language. What is meaning of this interpreted high level general purpose programming language? Interpreted means, for example, if you consider language like C, in C programming, we use compiler. But whereas in Python, instead of compiler, compiler we use interpreter and it is high level general purpose programming language high level language means language which is understandable by user generally python has very simple syntax and this syntax is similar to english like language so we call this python as high level language general purpose means by using this python we can develop various kinds of applications this is meaning of interpreted high level general purpose programming language python was created by judo van rossum he started designing python in late 1980s and it was was first released in February 1991. Why he given name Python? Many of them will think that he given name Python because it is name of a snake. But it is not right. Actually, Rossum was fan of one popular comedy show. That comedy show name is Monty Python's Flying Circus. This comedy show was broadcasted by BBC channel in the year 1969 to 1974. So the name Python was adapted from this comedy show. Now I will explain first Python program in order to generate output hello. For example, if you consider language like C, in C program, we need to write header files. After writing header file, you need to write main function. And inside main function, you need to write print hello. But whereas in Python, there is no need of writing header files and main function. Directly, you can write print hello. In C, we use printf. But whereas in Python, we use print. This print function is used to generate output. Open bracket and double quotations, you need to write hello. And close bracket. There is no need of using semicolon in Python. Just write print hello. Whenever you execute this program, then you will get output hello. So Python is very simple programming language when compared to all other programming languages. Next, I will explain features of Python programming. First feature is a simple language which is easier to learn. That means Python has syntax that allows developer to write programs with fewer lines than some other programming languages like C, C++, Java. When compared to all other programming languages, Python has very simple syntax. And the syntax is in English-like language, so it is easier to learn when compared to all other programming languages. One, it is free and open source. That means you can download Python with free of cost in the internet. And you can also copy this Python software to other systems. Third feature is platform independent. That means, for example, I written Python program in Windows system. Simply, I can copy this program and I can run this program in Linux. Even if you copy this program from Windows to Linux, this program will work. This is meaning of platform independent. Python programs can be developed and executed on multiple operating systems. And Python can be used on Linux, Windows and Macintosh and many more. Fourth feature is portable. As I already said before, you can copy Python programs from one system to another system without any change. Fifth feature is robust. Meaning of robust is strong. Python is strong programming language because of exception handling and memory management technique. There are so many memory management techniques present in Python and, and Python has capability of exception handling. Exception is nothing but problem. If any problems occurs, then Python has capability to handle those problems. Because of these two features, Python is robust. And sixth feature is Interpreted. Interpreted means there is no separate compilation and execution step. For example, if you consider language like C, in C we use compiler and this compilation is separate step. After writing enter program, then separate step is compilation. Whenever you click on Alt F9 in Turbo C, then your program will be converted from high level language to low level language. For example, this is C program which I written. Now, whatever the C program that I written, the C program is in high level language. Computer cannot understand this high level language. So in order to convert this high level language into machine understandable language, that is into low level language, we need compiler. After writing entire program, whenever you click on Alt F9, if there are no errors in your program, then your program will be successfully converted into low level language. This is use of compiler. But whereas in Python, instead of compiler, we use interpreter. Interpreter is also used to convert high level language into low level language. But difference between compiler and interpreter is, whereas in compiler, after writing entire program, then this entire program is converted into low level language. So execution takes place after writing entire program. But whereas in interpreter, execution takes place line by line. For example, I written five lines of code in Python. Only after executing first line, it will go to second line. 
and after executing second line it will go to third line in interpreter execution takes place line by line for example if any error generated in first line then it will stop execution it cannot go to second line in compiler if you click on alt f9 if for example if there is any error in third line then compiler will display that error just remember this difference compiler executes entire program at a time but whereas interpreter will execute program line by line and this interpreter will occupy less memory when compared to compiler there is no separate compilation and execution step like c and c++ directly it runs a program from source code that mean in c and c++ compilation and execution is separate step after writing program whereas in python we use interpreter so there is no separate compilation and execution step directly whatever the code that you written it will run that code and seventh feature is Python has large standard libraries to solve common tasks. Python has so many inbuilt library functions, so there is no need of writing separate code. Just you can import the libraries and use. This is one of the advantage of Python. Standard libraries in Python are well tested, and these libraries were used by hundreds of people. So you can be sure that it will won't break your application. Yet the future is object oriented. In Python, everything is object. That means Python will support OOPs concept. By using this OOPs concept. you can divide complex problems into smaller problems ninth feature is embedded and extensible that mean you can combine python programs with other programming languages like c and c++ this is ninth feature next i will explain applications of python python is used in many fields like data science data mining this python is also used to develop desktop applications mobile applications web applications and it is also used in artificial intelligence and machine learning and even for game development it is also used for speech recognition these are various applications of python the most recent version of python is python 3 which we are using right now python 2 is old version whereas python 3 is new version there are many features in python 3 when compared to python 2 this python 2 is not being updated with any other features except security features this is first python program in order to print my name so here i written print and open bracket inside double quotations i written my name is nagendra whereas in c we use printf but whereas in python you need to use print this print function is used to generate output there is no need of giving semicolon at the end by writing this program i will get output as my name is nagendra 